Well, obviously, I'm very happy with the win. I thought we, we were focused, uh, especially on the defensive end. I think the kids, um, you know, we prepared hard for the game. My assistant, Coach Carter, did a great job, you know, in prep preparing the kids. And, and uh, you know, our defense was really terrific. It got us uh, an 18, 19 point lead. And, you know, we knew Mount St. Mary's was going to come back, but, we, you know, we withstood the rally. I thought I thought our big guys, Brandon and Odie, got every rebound when, when, when they had to. Our rebounding was terrific. Neutralized their two inside guys, and um, just a, a real good road win under the circumstances. You know, we don't we have a lot of injuries, and um, you know, we had we had seven um, available players tonight, seven scholarship players available, and they, they they all played really well. So we'll take questions for Evan or Brandon at this point. Evan, how you, how you feeling after going down there in the last minute? Um, I'm, it's fine. It was just a cramp. Uh, I caught a cramp uh, my last game in my right leg. It just caught a cramp in my left leg this game. Let's talk about your performance. I mean, your first road game as a college player. Um, yes, you feel pretty good how things went. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it was pretty exciting. The crowd was into the game. Uh, my teammates, they was, uh, they was giving us energy, uh, making sure that all the seniors was making sure that we came out focused, ready to play, and that's, that's what I did. Uh, did you uh, did you expect to be the uh, the center of the offense this early in your uh, in your college career? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm the center of the offense. Um, I was just going out making plays uh, for my team, and that's, that's, that's yeah. I mean, what would you? Uh, there was one. There was one point when you uh, you know when you made when you made a basket, and you went here. You, you looked at the Mount cheerleaders, and you started and you started clapping. Mm -hmm. and you especially. Were you especially uh, pumped up for this game? Uh, yes, sir. Our first, or my first college career away game, uh, Coach B was telling us that it's going to be tough, so you have to come in, focus, be ready to play, and that's what we did. How about inside? You guys uh, banging the boards, especially in the second half. Um, the two guys were going on. Do you feel like that made the difference, controlling the boards? Um. It definitely goes to the coaches, Scott and um, Mount St. Mary's. We knew that Thompson and uh, Barber were great, great offensive and defensive uh, rebounders. Um, our coaches helped us prepare for the game. We made sure we just kept a body on them, all the bigs, and um, all the guards made sure to help in on um, trying to dig away the passes on um, post post entries, and we all just worked together to get the win. Were you surprised? Were you surprised that you got such a such a big lead early? I mean, you. Yeah, you, know, you went on like a twenty-five to three tear there in the first half. Um, the first draft. We definitely, we definitely tried to speed up the tempo. We knew that they were going to come in their first home opener and try to uh, get us rattled, and definitely they, they wanted to get the win. But uh, together as a team, we tried to speed up the tempo, tried to play hard, aggressive, play hard, smart together, and we um, we, we prevailed in the end. Uh, Evan, you know, I noticed in reading your bio that you're from Durham, North. Right? Durham, North Carolina. Had you ever, uh, had you ever get out of North Carolina? Had they ever let you out of North Carolina to, to come up to Siena? Um, well, I had a bad break my junior year. Um, broke my leg and my recruiting fell off. Um, I mean, I'm blessed that Siena seen me, that we got in contact with the coaches, and I'm just blessed for my opportunity to play for Siena. And you're blessed to hear too. <laughs> <laughs> and so other, am I. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all blessed. Anything else for the student athletes? I mean, uh, you lost a you lost a guard out for the year, and then he comes in. I mean, in your wildest dreams, did you imagine you would have a you know freshman score or whatever, thirty or whatever it was? I mean, I you know, thirty points. I didn't know he had that many points. I mean, it was an unbelievable performance. He, he's one of those kids. As I've gotten to see him more and more since we recruited him, he can score. You know, he's not just a, a point guard that that distributes well. But you know, the more I've watched him in practice and. You know, a lot of the stuff we're running, we're bringing him off ball screen. So that's good because that gets him in the lane and he, he has a good float. You know, he has a good mid-range game, good three-point. You know, the other night against Navy, he played very well before he had the cramps. So it's, it, 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 with Rock Brookins, who really is our best guard out for the year, this is this is a tremendous lift for us. You know, a lot of, you've, been around, you've been around college basketball an awful long time. Uh, you don't see too many guys score 30 points in their uh, in their, in their second game, you, uh, you kind of surprised? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, uh, I, I knew he had 16 at the half, and then, and then when I, I didn't realize that, um, you know, he continued it. I mean, he had, he had uh, 14 more in the second half. I mean, without him, you know, we obviously have trouble winning the game. So it's, it's a great, it, it's great for our team to have this kid emerge because of the loss of Rock Brookings. I mean, he's, 
he was really a big part of our team. Rock uh, started last year as a freshman, and this kid looks like he's, he's he's not missing a beat. I mean, he's getting his points and getting us into our offense. You mentioned seven scholarship players. Was this a kind of a perfect team for you guys to play since they only had six? Yeah, but I, I you know I, I saw their last game and they played really well against Hartford. You know, I was concerned about this game. I think anytime you go on the road, Rob does a good job with his kids and. Um, you know, we were concerned about our, our depth issues and, uh, you know, Owen Wignot, one of our seniors, got hurt in, in, in the Navy game and found out today he wasn't going to play. So now seven guys, you know, we had to worry about, we had to worry about fouls and we had to worry about uh, energy. But our zone was pretty effective. I was able to keep the big guys in the game. Uh, I thought a little three-quarter court press slowed them down a little. And for the most part, we got to the shooters and, uh, you know, did a real good job defensively tonight. I mean, you got you guys played awfully, awfully well for you know at least three you know three quarters of the three quarters of the game. and got it up to 19. Did you get a little? Did you get a little concerned, or did you think, well, gee, you know, with seven guys, you know, we're going to get a little tough. You know, we're going to get a little tough. Yeah, it was it was very similar to our Navy game the other night. We got up 16, and um, they cut it to four. You know, this, tonight we were a little bit lucky they didn't get it down under. I think they may have got it down to nine, but um, it's a young team. You know, end of game situations are going to be like that. You know, we missed some free throws. We we had a little bit of a couple of you know possessions that were a little shaky. But overall, our defensive intensity never waned, and I think that's what was the difference in the game. A couple more questions. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks.